contribute to one of us, a friend, a brother, and a colleague, Senator Mustafa Buka. Let me straight away say that I associate myself with all the Senate leader said about distinguished Senator Mustafa Buka. Senator Buka came to the Senate with a lot of experience. And I'm happy to associate myself with uh, Mustafa Buka and to say that this Senate benefited from his experience and exposure. Let me also say that he indeed was a patriot. One day, while we were leaving chambers, Bukal met up with me and said he would like to see me after sitting. I said, well, I'll wait for you. I thought he was coming to make a demand. But when he eventually came to my office, he said he came to find out how I'm coping with all the rough tackles that have been directed at me. I thanked him, and I said to him that I trust God. He thanked me and left. Before he left, he said he too will continue to pray for me. Since then, I took special interest in him. And on the 7th of March 2018, he was in this chamber, it was a Wednesday, a live coverage such as this. I wasn't looking particularly well. So I invited him, I was presiding. Now he said he was not feeling well, but he came because he had two bills which he wanted to be disposed of as the level of second reading. Now we tried because those two bills were at was the end of our, our uh, the, um, the paper for that day, the other paper for that day. So unfortunately, we could not get to that, those two bills. And so I then pleaded with the Chairman of Rules to please bring it up on Thursday the 8th, and please I should be at the top of the other paper for that day. So again, I was privileged to preside on that day. Then he came, and then we quickly took those bills, and then I asked him to go home and get some rest that was not looking very well. But what interesting thing about the two bills that he brought that day for second reading is that one of them is a bill to establish a federal polytechnic in Daura. So, and I recall that after that day, he never made it back to the Senate until his death. So he served his people to the end. And the last day he came to this Senate, it must be put on record that he came to seek for education opportunities for his people. And that is the man, Mustafa Buka. So he will be remembered as a senator who served his people to the end. And we're all going to miss him, miss his wise counsel, his patriotism, and his contributions when matters get very hot in this Senate. And I want to say, Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, that when people die, the important thing is for what they will be remembered for. So we have so much to remember Mustafa Bukar for. And we're going to miss him for those things for which he's being remembered. And what remains for us to continue in the same direction of patriotism, the unity of this country, the peace of this country, and the educational opportunities for our people everywhere in Nigeria, which he can vast. So on behalf of my constituents and the rest of us here present, let me say how deeply pained I am about his death. And my prayer, therefore, is that gentle soul will rest in perfect peace.